Let's imagine better health with CHI Health. What happens in the trauma center can mean the difference between life and death. And experience counts. The gentleman who's with us today is credited with saving thousands of lives in the operating room. His book on trauma is used worldwide. Dr. Juan Asensio is a CUMC Trauma Center Director, mm -hmm. and it's nice to have you on the show, Dr. Looking forward to this conversation. Thank yeah. you. Our viewers might recognize you as well uh, from different medical specials and documentaries. You, you've been around, been around the block, Doctor. I believe I have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we were talking about 60 Minutes, Discovery Health, 2020, 2020. BBC, CNN. Mm -hmm. I, what is it that stuff. draws <laughs> all this attention to you? Well. It is basically, people are interested in finding out uh, what trauma surgery does, how it has evolved from wartime surgery to its applications in the civilian arena. Mm -hmm. uh, it also is attractive because our country has a lot of uh, traumatic injuries, and most importantly, because some of the uh, pioneering, pioneering techniques that were created in wartime have also been refined and even further recreated, if you would, mm -hmm. the civilian arena. Couple that with the fact that uh, a trauma center it's really the portals of entry for some of the worst, uh, uh, if you would, social conditions uh, that we experience mm -hmm. in our country. Yeah. And this is what attracts attention. Mm -hmm. well, I mentioned your, your book. You've written several, right? 22 books total. Uh, but this is part of a series that's used um, within your, your industry, right? Doctors across the world turn to your books. We like to call it a, a profession and a calling, mm -hmm. and yes. That's actually the fifth edition of the textbook. The sixth one has just come out here in July. Mm -hmm. Explain what's inside those, uh, those covers. Well, what do you talk about? What do you discuss? Well, basically, it is not just a book that I have written. I've depended on many distinguished uh, trauma surgeons and their experiences. And each one of the chapters, of which there are quite a number of them, uh, basically, if you would, crystallizes the experience of many of these trauma surgeons, experiences that have been forged on the basis of many of their studies, both basic and clinical sciences. In this case, we've uh, redone the entire section of vascular injuries, sort of as to uh, continue to train, especially the younger military surgeons that mm -hmm. have had to go into Iraq and Afghanistan, uh, mm -hmm. and they are uh, surgeons that I have trained in our, my previous two trauma centers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you yourself treated those soldiers wounded in war? Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. yeah. you, you also have, through your upbringing, uh, a close understanding of poverty and violence, and that must affect you as you were talking about those social conditions and what interests you well, through well, medicine. Absolutely. A uh, number of years ago, Dan Rather in 60 Minutes said that I was really Amer I, America's dream in the sense that I came to this country with absolutely nothing. This great country gave me a tremendous opportunity. And I have managed, I believe, to try and repay it back. Very few people in America actually understand the powers and privileges that our Bill of Rights gives us. Matter of fact, most Americans never even read the Federalist Papers. Now, why would a trauma surgeon be cognizant or, or facile with discussing things outside of his field? Well, mm -hmm. we like to think that we're Renaissance uh, people because our, our field is actually extremely broad. Mm -hmm. Violations of human rights obviously are very constant in what is going on in this world. Uh, all you need to do is take a look uh, at, uh, at the scope of uh, the uh, numerous conflicts that are ongoing mm -hmm. uh, in the globe of today, and they're expected to worsen. And one of the things that's important to you is, is helping uh, kids, specifically at-risk kids. Why is that? Well, I think it's very important. Uh, our country is a great country, but there is great issues of economic, uh, health, and racial disparities. Uh, same thing uh, with regards to educational disparities. Uh, violence did touch my family. My youngest brother, uh, who served in the United States military, returned, and uh, he, got a, he got a job, again, trying to chase the ever quintessential American dream, mm -hmm. and got married, had a kid, and subsequently was carjacked and killed. So mm -hmm. it was kind of, uh, if you want to take a look at it, it was fate. So the very basic disease that I have been fighting to combat uh, to combat, uh, which is violence, mm -hmm. as it pertains to trauma surgery, affected me. That gave me, uh, that was sort of a call to arms, to be able to say that we, as surgeons, are extremely powerful leaders. You just don't see us. Mm -hmm. We're not in Congress. But our voices mean a whole lot. And we need to raise the level of consciousness to our, f for our fellow Americans to understand what actually happens. Mm -hmm. I want to focus for a minute on your trauma center uh, and, and the history of it, um, going back decades, and what makes it different compared to other centers, do you think? Well, uh, 
the Department of Surgery at Creighton University uh, has very, been a very prestigious uh, Department of Surgery and has forwarded, uh, uh, has created uh, seminal uh, works. This trauma center has been uh, around for quite some time. Uh, what makes it different is that we have a group of trauma surgeons which are very experienced. Uh, the way things are nowadays in America, uh, not all trauma surgeons were trained the way that I was trained. Our group of trauma surgeons are trained to do everything mm -hmm. from cardiac to thoracic to vascular to the surgical critical care. Four of us are actually burn surgeons. So when you come to our trauma center, you don't wait as you may have to wait in other trauma centers mm -hmm. because a young trauma surgeon may not be facile with cardiac, thoracic, or vascular yeah. injuries. In, in Omaha specifically, Craig, what, what are some of the top trauma admissions that you see uh, on a daily basis? Well, uh, we uh, have had uh, numerous injuries, injuries that are quite uh, interesting. We have a wealth of uh, vascular injuries. Um, we have a wealth of thoracic injuries recently, uh, gunshot wound to the heart, uh, mm -hmm. things of that nature. We do see extremely critically uh, injured people mm -hmm. and they do survive. Uh, and actually we have very good outcomes, thanks be to God. And one of the things we want you to know today is that as a patient, you have a choice in this matter. Um, you don't just go where they take you, as sometimes people think. You can choose to go to Creighton University Medical Center and their Level 1 Trauma Center. If you'd like to learn more, online at chihealth.com slash level-1 dash trauma dash center. We'll try to link you back from our website, omahamorningblend.com. Dr. Asensio, thanks for your time this morning. We'd love to have you come back again because it's not only uh, things going on in Omaha with, the, with uh, trauma centers we'd like to talk to you about, but you have a grasp on a lot mm -hmm. of other worldly issues, so we appreciate your time. It's great to time. have you here. My pleasure. Thank yeah, you. you